Hey, what's going on guys? Parker Gumi here, and in this video, I'm explaining to you five different passive income ideas that you can get started with today to start making money. Now, in this video, I'm explaining to you how hard it is to actually start each one of these passive income ideas, how hard it is to scale to $1,000 per month with this idea, and then how hard it is to actually maintain that $1,000 per month once you hit that mark. By using these passive income ideas, I was actually able to make 14K in the last 30 days and quit my nine to five job that I had hated for years. Now, if you stay until the end of this video, I'm actually gonna explain to you how you can use these five passive income ideas that I've shown you today to actually build generational wealth for you, your children, and your grandchildren. I'm also gonna dive deeper into the one passive income source on this list that's been used to generate about 90% of my income and how I've been able to quit my nine to five job because of it. Stay tuned to the end to find out exactly what I did and how you can do it too. Now, with that being said, it took me about a year to fully learn about these different passive income ideas and actually, you know, implement and test them for myself to see what worked best for me. I really wish I would have had a video just like this when I first started. I think it would have helped me out a lot. So I'm a little jealous of you guys that are watching this right now. Now, I want to be very clear and open with you guys. When I say passive income, this does not mean you can just do nothing and just make income, right? It takes a lot of work in the front end to actually build up these passive income ideas and passive income streams to actually spit out money on the back end. But it takes work up front and initially to build these up. So the concept of passive income is kind of like a movie, right? So it takes, you know, months, you know, it takes a lot of work, a lot of money to build up up front. But then, you know, after it's done, it's just in the movie theater, it just brings in money over and over and over again. And then it even goes to digital and Blu-ray and makes even more money in the back end, right? So you put all the work in up front to build the movie, get the people together, spend the money to get the time and the time to get everything together up front, and then you make money on the back end. That's kind of what passive income is. Any truly passive income source that you're going to have is going to take time to build up, right? It's not going to be, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week even. It's going to take a couple months or even a couple years to actually be a passive income source. So if someone's telling you, you know, I can make you a millionaire in the next 30 days, right? This is what we call a get rich quick scheme. This, this is how you end up broke. This is how people end up, you know, losing a ton of money, being upset and never actually getting ahead and actually making, you know, passive income later down in life. So if you see someone trying to claim this to you, maybe it's in the comments down below. Maybe it's on some TikTok video or whatever you're watching. Run the other way, block them, because this does not exist. The only true way to make money, whether it be online, offline, you know, digital world, non-digital world, doesn't matter, is providing value to someone in some way, shape, or form, right? It doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter what the value may be, it's solving someone's problem, providing value to your life in some way. So passive income is when you provide value without having to spend your time actually doing it. So with all that being said, let's dive right in. So passive income idea number one is actually investing. So investing can be investing in, you know, stocks, ETFs, bonds, cryptocurrency, whatever it may be. Investing, I, in my opinion, is the easiest way to start making passive income online or, you know, in person, whatever it may be. So the reason I really like this is because all the work is done up front to actually get the money into your account. And once it's in the account, you start investing in different stocks, cryptocurrencies, you know, ETFs, whatever it may be. You actually start to make money without having to do really all too much. In my opinion, starting to invest is the easiest way to start building a passive income stores because you don't really need access to anything but a brokerage account. All the big banks have them like Bank of America, you know, Chase, JP Morgan, whatever it may be. They all have their own brokerage accounts where you can just move the money from your bank account into the brokerage account and start investing right away. Now, I am no way a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only, right? So I'm not gonna tell you to invest in certain things, you know, what stocks to invest in, what ETS to invest in. There are a ton of videos on YouTube. There's a ton of videos online that can show you how to do this and how to start investing in different brokerage. My suggestion is to just go on YouTube and search, you know, how to invest for beginners and you're gonna get a ton of information on different investing accounts you can start, different stocks you can start investing in and actually, you know, what the best ways to do any type of investment is for a beginner like yourself. Once you have your money invested into your new account, all you have to do is go pick stocks, ETFs, cryptocurrency, bonds, whatever it may be, and just put the money into those investments and let it watch and grow over time, right? It truly is passive income once you get the money in the account. Now, going into that rating system I talked about when we first started the video, how easy is this to get started with? I would give this about a one out of five difficulty to get started with, right? It is very easy to start investing, even for beginners, even if you wanna just go invest in, you know, something like the S&P 500 ETF or, you know, an exchange fund, it's very easy to actually open an account and get started with investing. Now, when we look at how difficult it is to actually make $1,000 per month in passive income from investing, it gets a little bit tricky, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna base it on the historical averages of the S&P 500 ETF, which is a really good indicator of how the market's done over the last, you know, 50 to 100 years. We're gonna take the last 50 years, for example. So in the last 50 years, the market has averaged about a 10% return on investment if we look at it over the whole 50 year span, right? So if you think about a 10% ROI over, you know, a whole year, 
what are we what are we trying to get? So a thousand dollars a month is twelve thousand dollars per year. If we look at ten percent of you know that twelve thousand dollars, what amount do we need to actually make a thousand dollars per month? We need hundred and twenty thousand dollars in your account to actually make one thousand dollars per month on average, based on historical returns from the S P five hundred. Now looking back to our scale, one to five, how hard is this to actually make a thousand dollars per month with the stock market and passive income? I would say it's about a four out of five, just because it's going to take you a long time, maybe to make, you know, $120,000 and put it into that account into your stock market account and just let it sit there. Right. I don't know about you. I don't have $120,000 just laying around. So it's going to take me some time to build up that passive income. Now, finally, looking at it as how hard to actually maintain that $1,000 per month. Once you actually have the money in your account, I would give this a one out of five. It is very, very simple because you don't really have to do anything. You just have to leave it in there, not touch it, not take it out, and then your money will compound and you actually make a lot more than $1,000 per month over time, right? So once you get to the 120K in your account, you can you know invest it in whatever you want to invest it in and then that $1,000 per month should be very easy for you to get every single month. Now, before diving into the next four passive income ideas I have for you guys, if you're getting a lot of value out of this video, you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of the new videos I have coming out in the next few months. Now, with that being said, let's go into number two. So passive income idea number two is Amazon FBA. This is actually the first business model I started when I started my entrepreneurial journey. Amazon FBA is when you actually sell products on Amazon and Amazon will actually take those products that you sold and ship them directly to the customers using their two-day shipping. The really appealing part of Amazon FBA and something that makes it pretty passive income is that Amazon will actually houses it, house your inventory in its facilities and actually ship the products for you to the customers. So say you have like a small apartment or even you have a house, right? You don't want your products everywhere. You don't want, you know, your toys, your games, whatever it may be, whatever you're selling, be everywhere in the house. Amazon will actually hold these for you and then ship it for you so you don't have to even worry about it. Like I said before, Amazon FBA was actually the first business model I ever tried. And the reason for that was because it was the flashiest, the most sexy option, right? You think of Amazon, you think of their huge network of customers and how much money they make on a daily basis. Being a part of their network and actually selling on their platform seemed like a really awesome idea to me at the time. Now, going back to that chart that I talked about before, how easy is this to actually get started with and you know start your own Amazon business? I would give this about a three out of five in all honesty. This is not the easiest business model to start, especially if you're a beginner and I've never done e-commerce before. So Amazon has a couple of rules and regulations you have to go through to actually set up your account and actually have you know a real business when you start. So this is not the easiest thing. It's not the most intuitive. Like if you're gonna do it, I highly recommend either diving on YouTube beforehand or getting even a coach before you even start because it's not easy, right? And Amazon has a lot of tips and tricks and they have a lot of, you know, things you have to com conform to when you start your business. So I would give this a three out of five to actually start and get, get up and running just because there's so many rules and regulations Amazon has and it's just not the most intuitive thing in the world. Now, in terms of how hard it is to make $1,000 per month with Amazon FBA, this really depends on you know what business model you choose to start with. So if you start an Amazon business, there's three different ways you can get started. It's called retail arbitrage, wholesale, or private label. So these three things, they're a lot different. There, there are a lot of different ways to get started with Amazon FBA, right? But depending on which one you start with, the more money invested you're gonna have to put in to start, and you know the harder it's gonna be to scale from the start, right? So my advice would be to look up, if you're interested in Amazon FBA, to look up these three, see which one interests you, and then move forward from there. But in terms of making $1,000 per month, it really does depend. Because of this, I'm gonna give it, I would say a three out of five here as well, just because you know it's not, it, it just depends on what you do, right? So if you start with retail arbitrage, it might be a little easier to hit $1,000 per month, but then if you start with like wholesale or private label, you know, it's, you're gonna be in the negative for a couple months before you get started. So that first $1,000 a month is gonna be a little bit harder for you. But either way, I would give it about a three of, out of five overall. Finally, we're looking at our last criteria. How easy is it to maintain, you know, a thousand dollars plus per month business on Amazon? I would say this is a one out of five difficulty because once you get the thousand dollars per month, you've gotten past, you know, the negative balance that you had before. You figured out Amazon's, you know, different rules and regulations, and you're making a thousand dollars plus per month. It's very easy to scale to one k, two k, five k, and even ten k and beyond once you get to that point. So, in terms of how difficult it is to actually maintain once you hit it, once you hit that thousand dollars a month, I would say a one out of five here. The third passive income idea I have for you guys is selling digital products. Now this can be like an ebook or it can even be like a full course that you create, like a video course that you create online. One of the reasons I really like this passive income source is because you can really do whatever you want with it, right? You can create whatever you want. So say you like, you know, basketball, like, like I do, um, you can create like a little course or an ebook on something you like about basketball, or, you know, how to do a certain move or shot, whatever it may be, right? You can create whatever you want and then actually sell that online. 
And because you can create this on anything you want to, you can truly focus your business and your passive income source on something you love, something you love to talk about, something you love to be around, something you love to create content for, right? You can be, it could be anything in the world that you love. This is something that one of my heroes, Russell Brunson talks about, creating your like passion product. This is one of the income sources that you can actually create the perfect product for what you wanna do and what you wanna sell, which I think is pretty cool. Now looking back at our rating chart, right? So if you really think about it, this isn't really that hard to get started with. You really only need, if you wanna create an ebook like Google Docs, you can download it as a PDF, or if you wanna create like a video course, you really only need a smartphone or a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection, right? It really doesn't take much to get started with this. It just takes some knowledge of whatever you're you know, wanting to sell. So because of that, I'll give this a one out of five for how hard it is to actually you know, get started with this side hustle and side income idea. So now we're looking at how hard it is to actually get to $1,000 per month with the side income idea. It is a little bit harder than some of the other ones. So for example, if you start with an ebook, right, you really only need Google Docs to get started. But because of that, you can only really sell your product for like five to $10 max. So say even $10, right? Say you're wanting to get to $1,000 a month. You have to sell 100 ebooks per month especially when you're getting started, that's really hard to do, right? 100 ebooks per month is not easy to do. It's a lot of people, you need a lot of volume, which is hard for someone that's just getting started. So if you're looking at the ebook route, I really, it'd be really hard to do it. Um, if you're looking at the other route with your video course, right? So say you do a video course and you know you took a couple you know days to even film it, right? That doesn't take that long, but it takes a while to actually build up your reputation, build up your customer base. And even if you're selling the video course for even let's say like $200 a person, even if you only need five people per month, it is gonna be hard to sell to people that when you start because people don't know who you are, they don't know what your story is, they don't know anything about you, and you don't have testimonials yet. So it is gonna be harder to get started with this one, either the ebook route or even the video course route if you only if you make a video course that's worth like $200 or whatever. Um, it is gonna be harder than some of the other ones. Because of this, I'll give it a four out of five to actually get to $1,000 per month just because you're gonna need a ton of volume at first, which is hard to get if you're just getting started. Now, with that being said, once you're getting going, once you build that momentum, it's gonna keep rolling, it's gonna keep rolling. You're gonna make, you know, once you make that $1,000 a month, it's gonna be really easy for you to get to 5K and even 10K, just like Amazon. Once you get that first 1K per month and you're really consistent with that, it's really easy to scale up. So maintaining it once you hit that 1K per month, I would give it a one out of five, just because it's so easy to scale up a business once you get started with it and once you start to see some momentum and some traction. So one out of five for our last criteria there of how easy it is to maintain once you start your business and you hit that $1,000 per month mark. Now the fourth passive income source and the passive income stream that I think is good for beginners, and you know this is something I'm still learning about myself, is real estate. So real estate is an awesome passive income source because once you buy the property and once you're you know an owner of the property, you can rent it out forever, and you can rent it and make passive income forever once you get started with it. Owning real estate is a reason that a ton of big companies are so, so, so successful because they own the land that it actually is on. So for example, McDonald's, right? If you guys have ever seen the movie, The Founder, they talk about this, how real estate is how McDonald's actually grew to be so big. They own the properties and they rented it out to the people that actually franchise the store. So real estate is a huge investment around the world and it's something that can really make a lot of passive income for you once you get started with it. Now, we're looking at our scoring chart, right? I would give real estate a five out of five and how difficult it is to actually get started with it. And be, there's a few reasons why. So number one is it requires a huge upfront investment to actually own a property and put a down payment on a property. So, you know, it takes a lot of money, right? It takes a lot of money, it takes good credit. And there's a bunch of licenses and fees you have to pay for everything like that, especially with the housing market the way it is right now at the time of making this video, it is hard to get into real estate right now. So. For that reason and a couple other reasons, it, it's a five out of five in my book to actually get started with real estate. Now, if you have a lot of extra money, this is a great way to make passive income. But if you're just getting started and you know, you're looking for ways to make money a little bit quicker and you know something that costs a little bit less to get started with, this is not what I would recommend you do. Now, looking at our second criteria, how easy is it to make $1,000 per month with real estate, right? How easy is it actually once you get started, once you get everything up and running? So I'm gonna give this one a three out of five because of one reason, one reason alone is because you actually have to pay your mortgage while you're renting the property out. So it, say you have a $1,000 mortgage you have to pay every single month. That means you have to have someone rent it out for $2,000 per month to actually make that $1,000 per month, right? So it just takes a little bit of time to actually you know, build up the money, build up the you know, assets to actually have someone pay double what the rent actually is. If you have like a duplex or a triplex even, it might be a little bit easier to make $1,000 per month, but if you just have a house that you're, you know, you're renting out to someone, you have to pay the mortgage and then you have to have that person cover the mortgage plus make $1,000 extra. It is a little bit harder, so I'm gonna give it a three out of five on my, on my difficulty rating to actually make $1,000 per month with this. Now, like everything on this list so far, when you look at our third criteria, how easy is it to maintain $1,000 per month once you're actually making it? 
one out of five, just like everything else on this list. Once you build up that business, once you build up that income and that real estate, and once you have it, and once you've figured out a process to actually make that thousand dollars per month, it's very easy to scale, get another property, you know, double down and do what works and actually scale this up even further. So again, just like everything before this list, one out of five to actually get a thousand dollars per month and maintain it once you get there. So finally, we have passive income idea number five. And now this, like I told you guys before, this is what I've made in about 90% of that 14K in the last 30 days. This is the bulk of it. And this is something that's changed my life in the last few months. It's allowed me to quit my nine to five job to focus on solely this and you know these other things that I do. But this is this is what's changed my life. This, this is it. So what I'm talking about is affiliate marketing. This is what I do. This is my like number one priority right now. And this is what I'm focusing on. So what affiliate marketing actually is, is when you make money promoting and selling other people's products and services, right? So these products can be anything from, you know, goods and services, like can be an actual physical product, like stuff on Amazon, for example, it can also be like a digital course or, you know, a coaching program or anything like that. Essentially what you're doing is you're leveraging someone else's product and you're actually making money for yourself. So how it works is when you sign up for an affiliate program, like Amazon, for example, you can click sign up, like just right here. Um, and go through the whole thing, sign up for an affiliate. And then once you get approved, you'll get an affiliate link, right, for the product. So what an affiliate link is, is the link that if someone clicks on the link and actually buys from that link, you get part of that sale. So you get a percentage of it, right? So it's pretty cool because you don't have to create your own products. You don't have to create your own services. You don't have to create your own digital courses, right? You get to promote someone else's stuff and actually leverage their credibility, leverage whatever they've done already, and you get to make money off of that. So this is what I do. And this is a, for a main reason for that 14K in 30 days. This is 90% of where I made my own money. Now, what I've been able to do over the last few months that's allowed me to grow my business so fast is I only promote products that allow me to scale my business quickly. So products that have like 2K, 3K, and 5K commissions. I don't promote anything that doesn't allow me to have a, at least a $2,000 commission at this point. So, you know, Amazon has affiliate programs. You make a couple dollars per sale. You know, ClickBank has products. I'm sure you've heard of those if you're on the Make Money Online space. Um, those don't allow you to scale your business very fast because you only have to, you get to promote one or two products. Maybe you get one or two sales per day, right? You're making like $10, $20. I promote products, I sell courses and products that literally make me $2,000, $3,000, and $5,000 per sale, which allows me to you know, scale fast, and it was able to help me quit my job so quickly because I only made a couple sales, but at that huge amount, it allowed me to really, really build a big income quickly. Now, going back to our point scale, right? So if we go back to it, how hard is this to actually get started with? How hard is it to actually start an affiliate marketing business? I would give it a one out of five in terms of how difficult it is because literally all you need is either a phone or a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection to really get started. So it's really easy. Anyone can get started with affiliate marketing. It doesn't take that much. Um, so for that reason, I'll give it a one out of five. So looking at our second card here, right? How hard is it to make $1,000 per month affiliate marketing? And this really does depend. This, this is a probably the hardest one on this list to actually figure out how long it takes and how hard it actually is because it's just different for everyone, right? So I just see some people come in, they've never started this business before and they make $1,000 in the first two days. And it's great and that, that's awesome and it's definitely possible. I also know people like myself who get started and it takes them, you know, months to come in and, and actually make their first sale. It really does just depend. It depends on who you're, you know, who you follow, what courses you take. If you do take a course or not, if you're trying to do it on your own, there's a lot of different variables that go into it. So because of this, I'm going to give it a three out of five because it can be really easy if you're in the right program in the right time and the right course, but it also can be really hard if you're struggling and you know, you're in the wrong program, you're in the wrong course, you're, you're following the wrong people. So I'm going to give this a three out of five because you know, it just really depends on the, the situation that you're in. And finally, our last criteria, how hard is it to actually maintain that thousand dollars per month once you hit it the first time with affiliate marketing? I'm going to give this, just like everything else on the list, a one out of five, because once you hit that 1K, you already know what you're doing. You've already had some proof and it takes off from there. So if you see an example of like myself on this screen, right? It took me a long time to make my first sale. Once I made my first one, I made six more in the next 30 days and hit that 14K mark just with affiliate marketing. So it really does scale quickly. It goes quickly once you hit that first 1K, but that first 1K can be hard. So our last criteria, one out of five, how hard is it to actually maintain the 1K per month and actually scale it from there? Out of every business model, out of every passive income stream on this list, this is the one that's changed my life personally in the last three months. So this is something I highly recommend to anyone that's looking to get started with passive income and actually looking to grow their online business. Affiliate marketing is the way to go in my opinion, and this is what's changed my life. So like I said before, guys, if you stay to the end, I'm explaining to you how you can build long-term financial wealth for you, your children, and your grandchildren if you just listen to these five passive income ideas. So here's what I'm, I'm going to explain this to you right now. So step one is to start your own online business, right? And this can be, you know, it can be affiliate marketing. It can be Amazon FBA. It can be creating your own digital product. It can be Shopify. It could be a number of different things, right? But step one is to start your own online business. 
Step two is to live below your means. So, you know, if you want to keep your nine to five job, that's cool. You want to work in your business on the side, that's totally fine. Whatever income you make from your job, whatever income you make in total from your job, business, whatever it may be, live below your means, right? So if you're making 10K plus per month with affiliate marketing, you know, Amazon FBA, whatever it may be, even your job, save at least half of that, right? Save at least half that and put half of that into assets. So that's step three is put that 5K into assets. Now that's very important that you actually invest this 5K instead of just saving in a bank account because that's not gonna do anything for you. If you wanna invest the assets and actually have it grow for you. So once you have the extra 5K, what you wanna do is put in assets like stocks, real estate, cryptocurrency, bonds, whatever it may be, just some sort of asset that can grow the passive income over time like I talked about before. And step four is to rinse and repeat this for five years, right? If you can do this for five years, you can retire a multi, multi, multi millionaire, right? Because in the five years, your business will also start making a lot more than just 10K per month if you stick with it, right? Your business can make up to 50K per month, right? 100K per month, even if you're in the right business model. It really is that powerful, but you have to start. You have to get started. You have to start with the business model. You have to stick to it, right? This is the game plan. This is what I'm doing myself to build long-term wealth for me and my family. And this is something that I recommend to anyone that's looking to make passive income. This is the simple blueprint that'll take you from, you know, wherever you're at right now to a multi, multi, multi millionaire in the next five to 10 years. Hi guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're here to the end, I just want to ask you one quick question, right? So I went through this whole five passive income streams, five passive income ideas. So if you had to choose right now to start an online business, and you had to pick the three options that I told you, maybe it could be a fourth one as well. Which one would you choose? Would you choose option A, affiliate marketing, option B, Amazon FBA, option C, would you choose to create your own digital products, or option D, would you actually just do something completely different than this? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking and what you would start if you had to start today. So with that being said, thanks again, guys, for watching this video. If you got a ton of value out of it and you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now, right down below. If you have any questions for me on, you know, passive income streams, any of these passive income streams or anything in general, feel free to leave me a comment right down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you next time.